Alright guys, welcome back to another video. I believe I'm gonna start vlogging my flights. So this is Captain's Log Start date 0517 I'm gonna bring you guys for my pre-flight and just kind of talk about the importance of pre-flighting. You guys don't know what pre-flighting is, is everything you do before you get on the plane. Just uh, weather as part of pre-flight, knowing what the weather is like, the cloud conditions, so you don't fly into any bad weather. But the pre-flight I'll be talking about today is around the airplane, the things we have to check before we fly, just to make sure that our plane is safe. And pre-flight is probably one of the most important parts of flying. It happens before you get in the air. Because if you don't pre-flight and you figure out that there is something wrong with the airplane, it's already gonna be too late. So you wanna be sure you are thorough with everything you check on the airplane and that you are safe to go. So pre-flying, everything you have a checklist. So I'm gonna run down my checklist and just bring you guys with me. These are off. What's next? Battery master, turning on battery master. Battery master's on. Battery master is on. Interior lights, pedo heat, turning on pedo heat. Turn on pedo heat. Fuel quantity. Exterior light switches are on, turning on the lights. We got our landing lights, nav lights, and we're gonna go, ooh, someone turned this on. The strobe lights. And let's go check the lights outside. Make sure all our nav lights are working. So you wanna come here, check the strobe light, left, right wing is green, our taxi light is working. All right, when we're here, might as well check the fuel. Fuel's very important. You see that? Full fuel, feels good. All right. Quick walk around, make sure our tires are good, struts are good. Checking everything, checking your lights. Check fuel for this one. Fuel is good. Check our left wing, left wing is red lights. So we got taxi light, landing lights, red light, it is working. Ailerons we'll check later. We'll be sure we wanna check our pedo, pedo mass, cause this is where we get, ooh, it's hot, nice and hot. Nice and hot pedo. So if we fly through clouds, that's gonna prevent the icing. Make sure red light up top, nice and working, and we are good. All lights coming off, pedo heat, turn it off. Turn it off, pedo heat. Fuel quantity is good. Battery master coming off. And flaps, extending flaps. Flaps extending. So now we're gonna go outside and walk around the airplane, make sure our ailerons and flaps and everything works. This is my flight instructor, do you wanna say hi? Hi. Why is pre-flighting so important? damage from the previous flight that was done um you want to make sure that all of your bolts and screws and everything are there just because if one comes off some, it could like you know we'll be dead if we fly we'll pretty much so we just want to make sure the plane's intact everything's good to go so we check this it's nice and loose all right and then we come up here make sure all the bolts and screws are in we come here underneath this side there's this little guy. Make sure. What? No, we're good. And then, so our wings are good. And when you're at the aileron, these are the ailerons. We want to make sure the flight controls are moving at the same time. We come down here. We unlatch this guy. Make sure our tires are nice. There's nice grip down here. Make sure our bolts are all in. Check the oil. Oil is important because it lubricates, it cools, it seals, it does all fun stuff. Lubricates. Right? Lubricates and seals. We want to be above six. So look, we're at six. Six is good. Six is good enough. Remember. Come here, make sure our propeller is good. Our nose cone. Struts are good, everything's good. All right, check our ailerons. Ailerons moving in opposite directions. They're good, they're good. All right. All right, this is good. Check our stabilator. This part is called the stabilator. What's really crazy is we have to check if the Jesus bolt is there. I'm not sure if you can see it over there. That's called the Jesus bolt. So that literally holds down the whole back of the airplane. So if that's not there, we would 
use our stabilator, our tail, and we would go well. So you might be wondering what something is. Something is, we're gonna check the fuel, make sure the fuel is good and it's only fuel and there's no other mixtures in between our fuel. We don't want any contaminants. So what you do is go like this. And you want it to be nice and blue, nice and blue, look at that. If it was watery, you'll be able to see the water. If it's mixed with other fuels, it turn potentially clear, but with jet fuel smelling. So you go like this. That's a great question. CFI, early morning quizzing. We know if there's water because oil is lighter than water. So then the oil will be on top. You'll see the water sink down. What would you do if you saw water though? Then we would sump out all the water okay. and then, right? And the wall, right. So we got three sumps in the archer, which is nice because for the Cessna we have 13. 13 too many. Look at that. All right. Nice and blue, nice and blue, everything looks good. All right, so now we put it back. We're gonna put it back through the strainer side. So if there's any contaminants, it strains it out, but looks like we don't, we're all good. Fuel looks good. So now we did our pre-flight, that's the basic of pre-flight. We're gonna tow her out now.